Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on guys? Today we're looking at the brand new Jeremy Chin. But before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button and turn notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also do not forget to hit that like button and also leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. I will be live tonight over on Twitch if you haven't come through yet. I recommend you do. Like I said, link down in the description. All right, so here is the player of the week, Jeremy Chin. He's a 92 overall, but with full lockdown and full sprinter, he does go to a 94 overall. And this card's got 94 speed, 96 acceleration, 85 tackling, 96 play rag, 92 pursuit, 90 man, 88 zone with that 93 hit power. All right, so looking at this card stats, he has that crazy speed at 94, the good acceleration at 96, and also his 6'3 as well, 221 with 70 strength. So Jeremy Chin has that rare combination of height and speed, which is always sought after in Mutt. Um, but there are some holes with this card. This card does have his flaws, um, and that is coverage. So, I mean, hopefully that speed and acceleration can help cover up the man and zone. I mean, he does hit the man threshold, but does not hit the zone threshold. So, I definitely want to see how he's going to react um, in zone coverage. You know, I mean, he has the speed that could potentially, you know, cover it up a little bit. But um, not hitting that zone threshold is definitely a little bit scary. Especially if you play him over the top, having that 88 zone um, is definitely concerning. So, I feel like this guy is probably just a sub linebacker um in my opinion i'll probably try that sub for a little bit but uh, i'm telling you right now those coverage stats are definitely concerning um at least at least he does hit the man coverage threshold which is definitely pretty rare for um for safeties not many safeties do hit that man covered threshold um, unless they're like just solely coverage guys and they don't have any good hit power but jeremy chin has the good hit power um as well as hitting that man cover threshold so if you like running man with your sub linebacker or your safety maybe this card's actually a really good card because um he has the speed the size and the acceleration but yeah let's head, let's head down here the um some other stuff um, he's got 86 COD, can't do much after the catch, which I've been realizing a whole bunch. Um, only the last like five DBs I've looked at, they've been really bad after the catch. I'm not sure if that's a coincidence or what the deals with that, but um, impact block at 67 as well. Um, with 95 jumping too, I forgot to skip, I've kind of skipped over that, but he's at 95 jumping, which is very, very good. Um, um, and yeah, and then come down here, he's got an 88 press, which is pretty good as well. Um, not the best, but 88 press isn't bad for a safety. But let's head over to the abilities. And Jeremy Chin is the hybrid archetype, which is actually one of the better um, safety archetypes in the game right now. We're running Avalanche for the X-Factor in the first slot. Um, doesn't get much. Only gets a homer, indoor baller, and second wind. In the second slot, though, does add a flat zone KO with Acrobat, Chuck out, mid zone, Unfakeable. Um, gets Stonewall, gets mid route, gets short route, gets Enforcer, homer, and... Uh, and indoor baller and second one in the second slot. And in the third slot, um, he does get one step ahead, which is very interesting. And I feel like having one step in the sub linebacker spot could be interesting. I definitely do want to try it, but this card can, can get one step. If anyone does try one step on Jeremy Chin, let me know how it goes. Cause I, I definitely am curious. Also, let's get Mr. Big Stop as well as inside stuff, bench press, um, deep zone, uh, tackle supreme. So nothing else too special in this third slot besides one step, of course. Oh, I believe he also did get out my way. Yeah, there's out my way too. I don't think he had that in his second slot, but um, yeah, get some um, Panthers chems. Full lockdown, full sprinter. I mean, let's just hop into it. We have gotten very lucky on our last, like, four safety gameplays, it feels like. I believe in the Buddha Banker gameplay, we had a pick six. And in the uh, Cam Chancellor gameplay, we had two pick sixes. So, I mean, so the luck will probably run dry here in this Jeremy Chin gameplay. But, um, yeah, we'll have to see. Let's hop into it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. That's our top three. We got Tyree Kill, Darrell Revis, and Steve McNair. And he's got Josh Allen, Julio Jones, and Derek Thomas with double or nothing. Um, I'm probably going to play Chin over the top for a little bit. I might try him in the box for a little bit too. Um, I feel like he'd play better in the box playing man coverage because he has such good man coverage stats. But um, yeah, we're going to have to see how the game flows. Um, the, but the plan is to probably play him over the top for most of the game. Throws it up and that's an easy interception. I mean, don't try, don't try, ever try to Rebus like that on a theme team, man. Get a field. Oh, I almost hit, I almost put that right there. Get a field, easy run. Gibson touchdown, let's go, baby. I, I, I forgot, I keep forgetting we've Antonio Gibson in our RB1 right now, but I mean, it's working, man. Oh, we're going to use with Jeremy Chin, actually. Um, I do want to see how he feels as a user. We're going to put him on that blitz to eliminate that COD. He's, he's going to run the ball, and he's going to have absolutely nothing. I mean, it's kind of interesting now. We have three 6'3 safeties in the game. We have Cam Chancellor, we have Jeremy Chin now, and now we also have uh, um, Taylor May still. I wonder, who's the mo I wonder who the popular option is going to be. I feel like Chin... I feel like Chin will probably be in that middle range. I feel like Maze will probably be the cheapest because he came out so long ago with the market and stuff right now the way it is. Those right at me, Jeremy Chin. Um, we should have another pick six, actually. Uh, yep, pick six for Jeremy Chin. Okay, so uh, that's three straight safety game plays. We have a pick six. 
I'm not sure what's going on. But I was I don't know what I was talking about. And then we get a pick six right there with Jeremy Chin. So that right there it kind of shows you how good this card is as a user with that 95 jumping and has the speed to you know finish off plays. Alright, so he's literally doing the same thing. He motions out, he's motioning out his fullback. What did you guys see that speed boost right there from Chin? Where, where's, he, where's he gonna go with this? Please throw it. Please throw it. Oh, Jeremy Chin couldn't animate on that. Here he's motioning DK Metcalf now. Gonna try switching up the man coverage a little bit. Watch like a slant route or something like that. Might go underneath. Good throw right hand to Waller. Hit stick. No, we don't get a hit stick. I thought his COD was gonna make him a worse user, but he feels he, he feels fine. I, I think once you like do the blitz thing, I'm um, kind of eliminate that COD. I feel like I feel like he feels fine because he has the jumping, has the size, the speed, the acceleration. I don't know. I feel like Jeremy Chin could stick around potentially. Oh, hit stick from Jeremy Chin. And uh yeah, nothing there. Okay. So hit stick from Jeremy Chin. He's still gonna fall for a touchdown with Raheem. And it's now 14 to 7. I respect this guy for still playing. Um 85% of head-to-head -head players, they would have already quit. So I respect this dude, ESAF9. I mean, I mean he's still in the game too, so I could potentially still lose this thing. But I'm just saying a lot of people do usually quit when they're down 14 0. We should yeah, he actually blitzed. Oh boy, that's not what you want to do. Oh, he actually put a safety out there. I didn't even see him. I threw a pick. Oh no. Okay, now it's really a game. I did not even see his user. I'm not even gonna lie. I just tunnel visioned that Tyreek getting separation. His user is solid, though. I respect that guy's user. Most people don't even see that, especially the first time you're running the beater. Yeah, we should be good in man coverage. As no nope, DRC got cooked off the line of scrimmage. Throws it up to Waller, and Waller animates and comes down with it for a touchdown. So just like that, this guy cuts the lead to literally zero. Um, we just blew a 14-0 lead. Um, that, it can happen that fast. And I believe... No, he started with the ball, though. So um, we're fine in that regard. But now this is actually a game because I simply just can't play offense today. Nah. Get outside, cut a field, attaboy Gibson. Gibson. Gibson should be gone. Hold up. Hold up. No, that's not the Jackson. Who just called me? Oh, that was that might have been DRC. Antonio Gibson there, man. My, my boy, my boy Antonio Gibson put in work right now, though. Man, man. Come on. I gotta lock in, dude. My my offense isn't moving. This is a 51 yarder, by the way. This is not I feel I feel like I could have hit from 60 with this wind. But this, this should be an easy hit. It's up and it is good. Here we go. Watch the Oh, he's running two like post routes. Throws it up to Jeremy Chin. Pick it off, Jeremy Chin, and Oh no! Crow stole his interception, man. Hey, Jimmy Chin was around the ball though. Um, picked off by Crow though. We should get one more shot here at the end zone. Step up, step up, step up, step up. We should have Tyree Kill. Beat him there, beat him there. Tyree Kill's gonna touch that touchdown. Tyree Kill to end the half. That's that beauty of that 97 speed on 99 deep routing. And yeah, Tyree Kill's a little bit tired. Oh no, Hannah just pinned him. Okay, yep, and yep, that that. Down goes Tyree Kill. Okay. I mean, honestly, I feel like Jeremy Chin's probably best as a user because, I mean, he has the speed, has the height, has the jumping. You see the animations on this card as well. But he doesn't have the coverage stats. And I feel like when you use her, it helps cover up the fact you don't have the best coverage stats. So I do feel like Jeremy Chin's probably best suited as a user, if I'm being honest. Um, either at sub linebacker or at safety. Whatever position you use her, I feel like that's where you should put Jeremy Chin because um, this card is definitely the move as the user. Here we go. Underneath, watch the underneath right there. He's gonna hit the. I knew, I knew he was gonna go to the running back. Um, he had no the, the running back was his only open option basically the whole day. The whole day. Um, this guy's gonna stay in the game. I believe I do. I do respect this guy's heart. I just tried throwing the beater here once again to Tyreek low key. Oh, he ran commit. Yep, that's gonna be another touchdown. Okay, so um, ESAF, good game, bro. Um, we're gonna walk out of here with a win. We're gonna watch this beater. If we get this Jeremy Chin. Oh, can Jeremy Chin beat it there? Jeremy Chin does get there to, I mean, at least somehow affect that in a way. So, oh, right, here we go. Let's watch that glitchy route. It's probably coming out here somewhere. It is. There it was. Um, yes, yeah, she has that. Oh, middle field open. And we were there with Jeremy Chin. To be honest, I didn't even see that route. I was just running down to, you know, try to stop him from scrambling. But goes to that beating route again. So, are we going to be there? And nope, a touchdown for DK Metcalf. Wow, okay, so this guy, this guy's, I respect this guy. He's still putting up a fight, man. I do respect it. All right, we got, we got uh, Tyreek. Um, and there's Tyreek, just elite speed, man. I mean, the, the, the 97 speed, you, you can put Tyreek. If you get Tyreek the ball in space, he's in the COD and stuff like that. This card's burning anyone, but um, I can't pause the game. So if he pauses, I'm going to try to quit before he can. Um, but I do want to try to get this guy the win because he's definitely a trooper and he sat through this and... Um, he made that 14 point comeback and I, I just I gotta get back to this guy man he, he I respect I respect it man all right good game to esaf 9 um we did get our, our, our pick six or I guess our at this point it's an annual safety gameplay pick six um with Jeremy Chin and yeah his the way this card fell as a user definitely did surprise him that's one thing I'm definitely not even gonna lie about this card as a user feels 
like he might be one of the best users in this game because of the speed and the acceleration. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the Jeremy Chin gameplay. And I actually forgot we didn't even have abilities on Jeremy Chin in today's gameplay. And he was still animating like crazy. So I can only imagine how much better this car would have felt as a user if we had Acrobat on him. And Jeremy Chin, man, I think he's the best. I mean, he's the, he's the best user that I've used so far this year. Um, and I've used Taylor Mays. I've used Cam Chancellor. So I think Jeremy Chin, I, I mean, in my opinion, Jeremy Chin was my favorite user that I've used. I'm not sure why he felt so good. Um, it could be because of the acceleration and the speed and the size and the jumping, but I don't know what exactly it was. It was one of those things. Um, and it also does make sense to kind of use this card because he doesn't have the best man coverage and zone coverage stats that guys like Devin McCourty or Fuller or um, some of those more top tier coverage safeties in the game have right now. So Jeremy Chin as a user, you put him at sub linebacker. It just kind of makes sense. As we get a follow on Twitch, shout out to No Skills um, for following over on Twitch, of course. Um, it's always appreciated. But um, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment the um, let's comment the uh, tiger emoji down in the comment section. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And the video helped you out over to the video. Be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.